Friday night lights are going to start looking a little bit different here in our area. To watch the LaFleur Rattlers or the Viger Wolves play, you won't have to travel to Lad People Stadium. Today, both schools had ribbon cuttings, putting their brand new on-campus stadiums on display for students and the community to see. NBC 15's Karis Harmon was at both of the ribbon cuttings. Karis, people in the Pritchard and Tolmanville communities have been pushing for high school football stadiums for years now. Yeah, and they finally have it, Kim. Mobile County Public School Board members say this is long overdue. To see it come from the ground up, is it's a, it's a beautiful sight. LaFleur High School students pack the stands, cheering on their home team and welcoming something new to their campus, their very own football field. I saw a stadium right here. And when elected to be a school board commissioner, we made that dream come true. District 4 is ready to move forward with athletics. Mobile County Public School Board President Sherry Dillahay McDade says this is a day that she and others in the Tolmanville community have been waiting for for a long time. One, two, three, it means pride, but we have a lot of pride in our community. Now when the, my parents drive through here on their way to church, on their way to the grocery store, they see that stadium and they, all they can do is smile. In the past, LaFleur football players had to play at Lad People Stadium. Football players say it's a good day to be a Rattler because now they and the community have a place to call their own. Everybody can walk out from Booger T to, to Just Ford to wherever they want to be. And, you know, they'll be right here in the TMV. Across town at Viger High School, they also welcomed a new stadium. What a great day in the city of champions to a school that is a champion. Mayor Jimmy Gardner says now students and people in the Pritchard community won't have to travel across town to Lad Peebles just to watch their team play. It's a great opportunity for these guys to create history here once again, but at home. Mobile County Public School Board member Dr. Reginald Crenshaw was an integral part in Viger getting its own stadium. I raised Holy Hill with him about getting a stadium at Viger High School. He says this is well overdue. And that started, believe it or not, when we tried to buy Pritchard Stadium and they didn't want to sell it. I'm hoping that they'll tear it down uh, because it's really eyesore as you pass the interstate. You look down at that very uh, <laughs> uh, vacant stadium and you know what happens when a, when a building or facility stays vacant. You know, it started to deteriorate. I asked Mayor Gardner of the city of Pritchard had any plans for Pritchard Stadium. Absolutely they are. And I'll be talking about that later on, but today it's about Viagra High School. And Students and alumni displaying their school spirit today, Kim, and happy that they have somewhere that they can call home.